Hi everybody and welcome back to Cook and Share. Today in this episode we're making up a world famous dish that's commonly found in Thai eateries, Pad Thai. We were traveling the other day and came across this mobile restaurant that was serving it. We bought some and we thought, boy, is this ever good? So we thought we'd try and make it and share it with you. I have to mention that there are many different ways of doing this and this is by no means authentic. So if you're Thai, don't be offended. So let's get started. What I have here are some Thai noodles. I just picked these up at my local grocery store. You can also get them in any Asian store. So we'll add these to a large container. And pour a couple of cups of water over the top, just enough to make sure the noodles are submerged. And what you need to do is allow these to soak for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is begin preparing the sauce. And the main ingredients for it are fish sauce, chili sauce, sugar, and tamarind paste. What I have here is some tamarind paste that I just picked up at my local Asian store. Now this is really a thick concentrated paste, so what I did is added it to a measuring cup, put in some water and mushed it down and mixed it up, and of course removed the seeds. And if you want to know the exact measurements, I did a write up on the blog, so just check it out. In making this dish, it's pretty important that you prepare everything in advance just so things go smoothly. So what I have here is some shrimp that I've deveined and deshelled, some extra firm tofu that I've cubed up and fried, some eggs, chopped shallots, some garlic, some garlic chives, bean sprouts, and some roasted peanuts. Okay, let's make the sauce first by adding the tamarind to a preheated pan followed by the fish sauce, the chili sauce, the sugar. Usually palm sugar is used in this recipe, but if you're on the other side of the world like me, white sugar will do just fine. So we're just going to give this a stir over medium heat, bring it to a boil, and set it aside. Next, what we're going to do is add some oil to a preheated pan. Add the shallots in. Followed by the chopped garlic. And I'll stir and saute this just for a minute or two until they're fragrant. Then we'll place the shrimp in. Followed by the fried tofu and give it a stir until the shrimp become pinkish. Now we'll add in the Thai noodles that we soaked a while ago. Some water. And I'm just going to toss this until they're thoroughly mixed. Now we'll push everything to one side of the pan. Add in a little bit more oil just so it's not going to be dry. Crack the egg in. So remember, one egg is for one serving. I'm just going to kind of break the yolk here. Scramble it up just a little bit. And fold it into the noodles. Next, what you're going to do is pour the sauce over. And stir it around until the sauce coats the noodles. Now I should mention here that everything is done over medium-high heat. And of course you want to make sure everything is well coated and the noodles have absorbed the liquid. Lastly, what we're going to do is add in the bean sprouts and the garlic chives and toss it for another minute or two until the noodles are soft, dried and fairly tangled. By the way, this is a serving for one, but if you're serving two or three or you're a big eater, simply double or triple the recipe. Now we've plated this up, we're going to garnish it with some roasted peanuts, a few chives on the side, some bean sprouts, and lime wedges. And there you have it, our delicious Pad Thai, a heavenly taste of Thailand. So that was our Pad Thai. I could eat this three times a week and I'm sure if you make this you'll say the same thing. If you know of some other food icons from countries around the world, drop us a line below and we'll try and make it. 
and check out our website for many more easy recipes. Don't forget to click subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.